In this Revit Tips and Tricks tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use the Fillet Arc tool to create a radius corner to your walls. So this is typically what we want to create. So walls going around a corner don't have to be sort of at right angles, but two walls with a curved section linking them together. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So two scenarios, one where you've already got a couple of walls in and they don't meet and you want to add that radius in and tidy these up. Or maybe you've got two walls in that already meet um, without a radius and you just want to add the radius to it. It's the same method, whichever you want to create. So first of all, go to architecture, wall, and look on the draw palette, you're actually looking for this icon here, the Fillet Arc tool. Select that. Now, you've got two options at this point. You can either start adding the Fillet Arc in and set its radius by eye or dynamically with your cursor, or you can specify the radius if you know it in advance and it will just create that at that set radius at the time. So I'll show you both methods. So let's do it dynamically first. So click on the first wall, click on the second wall, and there is our curved section. Notice now, as I move the cursor, we can adjust where that radius is. And as soon as I click it, it places the, ra the, the arc of that radius and tidies up the remaining pieces of wall. Just going to undo that. Let's go back and select that arc tool again. This time I'm going to select radius on the options bar and I'm going to leave that at a meter, 1000 mil. And now click on the first wall, click on the second, and it adds that radius in at the set value that we defined on the options bar. Just to show you that it doesn't make any difference if the walls have already um, come together in a join. I can just click on the first and click on the second. So that's using the Fillet Arc tool to add a radius section of wall onto or between existing walls that you've already placed into your model. But you can in fact create those radiuses at the time when you're adding new walls in without even having to use this tool. I'll just show you that now before we finish. So let's cancel out of that command. Let's go to wall. Now, notice on the options bar, we've got radius on here. So I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna leave that, uh, well, let's increase that to 1500 mil, a little bit bigger. And now I draw the first wall, click, draw the second wall, add it and it's added that radius of 1500 mil automatically in between the, the uh, intersection of the two walls. I hope you enjoyed this Revit architecture video. If so, please hit the like button. If you'd like to be notified when new videos are released, please subscribe to this channel. And to see the full range of my Autodesk Revit architecture training material, including video courses and PDF ebooks, please visit the website at www.bimscape.com. You can also connect with Bimscape on the social media platforms listed here.